we are. We're finishing up a few things, and there is the logo, California <coughs> Bank and Trust. Everybody's been waiting for it to be filled, and there it is in silver, and it looks great. Well, yeah. Yes, okay. Oh, you've got a new photo over by the door. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Good. And when is the grand opening going to be? In the middle of April. Okay, the middle of April. Okay. We don't have a day exactly. Okay, and somebody's measuring back there for, I'm hoping, a painting. Yes. Actually, we oh. have two polo horses. Oh, how great. Yes. Perfect. Oh, here's a picture of Mayor Cal on his horse. Our honorary mayor. Whoop. Boy, there, there we go. You can see it better. Okay. And a couple of polo pon ponies. Exactly what we have. 
As many of you know, the state match, if you will, did not, uh, the state is broke basically, so we won't be seeing the match anytime soon. But the state did recertify us recently, and they still owe us in excess of $14 million. Obviously, we hope to see that, and then we'll be able to build the gym. That's the idea uh, that we were looking at. So this particular site, once again, if you will, and what you're seeing tonight is, is a, a site plan. It's all classroom-based, with the exception of the library, the teacher's lounge, or the teacher's workroom. They're all one, and then the administration, the nurse, school psychologist, some of the offices that will be in this main building. It also houses what we're going to call the main infrastructure of technology, the phones, etc., all the circuitry that will be in there. What I'd like to, what I'd like to, uh, when I say option E enhanced, I'm, I'm talking about uh, building K. Building K is a warming kitchen. It's a, it houses in, a, in excess of 100 students, meaning we can put 100 kids in there. It's a 48 by 40 double size classroom. That, as you know, one of the concerns that I had uh, was always, how do we get our kids out of the sun and the heat and the rain, and, you know, all of those things. This partially does that. Can I put 500 kids in it? No. Uh, but that's the great thing about the teachers at this site. They've always afforded students the opportunity to go in in inclement weather. And, uh, you know, I got to hand it to the teachers at this particular location. They've done a great job in allowing that to happen. Uh, but for some of those kids that, that want to eat in a small cafeteria, that's now going to be an option. Uh, again, this is all assumptions built on approval. Why I say it's option E enhanced, and to the board and for your knowledge, this particular facility is a 48 by 40, but when we get our gym, and that, uh, let's say when, it's going to be a matter of time, and we will continue to build the gymnasium and the multi-purpose room. This particular facility can be converted into two separate classrooms. We put a, a false wall down the middle. It's designed to then be uh, divided into two separate classrooms. Same electrical, same uh, configuration and amenities built in. So all we'd have to do is put in cabinets, case cases, and it would be uh, converted to a classroom. In addition to that, but the great thing about modular to me is that these particular classrooms are going to be exactly like building K. And I don't know if you remember in option E, it originally had a, a like a, a mobile home, if you will. Uh, we've done away with it. This is a permanent structure. The, this facility here. If down the road we want to build more classrooms, you can add on to that, and we have the space to do that. We can build on, and it looks exactly like it does for all the other classrooms so that it would match all the other motif, if you will, around the campus. That's one of the reasons why Gary and the team and, and uh, Jim Bose, myself, and, and Will uh, Simmons put a lot of time to really make it seamless in terms of that transition piece. I think when you get a chance, when you get some time, I also wanted to point out the product board. Uh, for me, uh, I'm really happy with the product board and <coughs> we've selected and, and Mr. DeVoe helped and, Everybody put some time in to really select it. The rock, if you will, this particular stone, is a ribbon of stone that runs from the ceiling, or if you will, from the roof line to the floor, and in different lines across the facility. You can see we're having uh, sealed concrete. There's a the color of concrete, plus you see tile and the colors of the paints and some of the elevations, interior classrooms. Two full labs and a physics lab, which is kind of what we're going to call a half lab not a full lab, but we have a full chemistry lab, full biology lab, uh, full music room, full culinary arts facility that's professional. It's a professional kitchen, which I think you guys, especially the folks in the back, will be uh, very pleased to get. Uh, and so, and also, obviously, classroom space. We do have a, a uh, whole <coughs> and brand new for the first time a special education facility that's dedicated to those programs as well, uh, with obviously special consideration to that particular facility. And, and uh, we're very proud of that and making sure that we accommodate every kid on that campus. There's, uh, you can see, plenty of hard space and hardscape. Um, there will be 
And to be honest with you, because of budget, we weren't able to get in full landscaping as per the landscape plan, but we do have some landscaping. It's not going to be just barren. We'll have trees, we'll have a variety of different things, but it won't be full to the, to the landscape design that uh, Mr. Kristoffi did. Um, this, the last piece, if you will, is uh, you can see, again, there's uniformity to it. There's a, a, a full, uh, if you will, an alcove that stands out from each of the facilities. And uh, the great thing I like about it is very green. And by, by that I mean there's at least four solar tubes in every classroom where you'll never have to turn on the lights. They're uh, auto dimming and you can uh, take them and if you're watching a film or whatever the case is, you can turn them completely off. They're amazing. It, it looks like uh, you're uh, in full on daytime. Obviously at night you're gonna have to turn on the lights. But these, uh, this facility was built in such a way where it's very efficient and it's, it's very green. So I appreciate Mr. Christoffi and, and JTS uh, for helping us build that.